Grill Sergeant, and today we're gonna barbecue a whole chicken on the Weber Performer using a rotisserie and drinking craft beer. <sighs> Let's start the show. All right, so today we're gonna to be using a full chimney of Royal Oak lump charcoal, but I have an issue. Those lighter cubes I always use, I ran out. And lo and behold, it's not like I can just, you know, go all around and try to pick something up from the store. I ain't gonna get that coronavirus. So what we're gonna do is what the Homo sapiens did many centuries ago when they did their barbecue. Got their local paper, put it together, you know, kind of like so and they wrapped it up like this, like, you know how good I can roll a burrito. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it underneath here, kind of like, you know, just like that, like a little zigzag and, you know, smush it down a little bit. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna light on fire and that is going to start our charcoal chimney. So let me load this bad boy up. All right, there we go. And now we are going to basically just tilt and light underneath. All right, so we'll check back in on that in about 20 minutes. So, you know, we're all still in the thick of this whole pandemic, but you know what? Look at the positives. Two positive things this week. We all got that Corona check deposited. I'll write on that. And then Tiger King drops a brand new episode. I mean, hello, you're thinking the season's over? wrong again it's like the gift that keeps on giving man oh man life is good stay safe out there all right all right so here is our chicken and what i'm doing right now is basically just patting it down we just want to make sure that it's fairly dry so that when we put our rubs on the rubs will help bind to the chicken. So for rubs, we're gonna be using the Holy Gospel and the Gospel rub. First coating we're gonna do is of the Holy Gospel. I'm gonna do a light coating of that. We're going to follow that up with the Gospel on top of that. Now we're gonna flip this bad boy over and then we're going to repeat the same the gospel rub. Now this part's optional, but I do like incorporating melted butter into the chicken. Woo! Some into the, and I think I used to be a uh, phlebotomist. <laughs> and since there's now some, you know, juices and whatnot coming out, I'll basically just top her off with a little bit of gospel rub and then we are going to let her sit and we're gonna get this charcoal set up all right so now we basically have two charcoal baskets what I'm going to do is basically place some on this side place some on this side and try to as much as I can get them you know fairly even take some pecan wood chips and basically sprinkle those in there. For a drip slash water pan, I'm basically gonna put down a Weber tray in there and then we're just gonna fill that tray up. Now we're going to put on our rotisserie and we are going to turn this on just to make sure that motor and everything is working good. And then I'm going to cover this up and let this bad boy come up to temp. Now we're going to Unhook one side, find the center of this bird, gonna come out the other side. And then you have these prongs, we're basically gonna stick that into the meat. I'm gonna take these two prongs, they're gonna come here and then puncture that bird. I do have twine, because um, you, I mean, you don't want your bird flopping all around, so we're gonna see if we can twine it up a bit. Now, God forbid I actually show you how to twine up a chicken because honestly, I do not know how. The main thing is you basically just don't want it flopping around too much. The big trick is how do you get to do a temperature reading by plugging in a probe, but mind you, this is spinning and you don't want to get the probe caught. 
we're going to have this end basically rubber band to here. And so as this spins, this part's gonna be in the chicken and voila. So in theory, as this spins around, the temperature gauge spins with it and is pretty much held in place. All right, so now that we have this set up, we're going to slide this end in, make sure that that is in all the way. Then we're going to put this end just like that, turn her on, and you basically just wanna watch it for uh, a few spins. What you're checking for is mainly that the bird is pretty much over your water pan, and yeah, it's pretty much even in the center. All right, so now we're going to close her up. We're gonna leave the top and bottom vents wide open, and we'll check back in in probably about a half hour. We are looking to get to an internal temperature of 165, let it rest for a little bit, and then dig in, so cheers. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's go check on this bird and oh my goodness. Look at that color. All right, we are now up to temp. This bird is looking beautiful, good Lord. All right, let's get it cut up. The smell, which I know you can't smell right now, is amazing right now. Good Lord. All right. Let us dig in. Got this other leg right here. It's juicy and tender. All right, let's go in for a taste test. And so here we got chicken wing. Wow, juicy, moist, not bad at all. If I were to do another chicken, it would be exactly like this. This came out perfect. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. This chicken is Awesome. I cannot believe the flavor that came out. Rotisserie is definitely worth looking into getting to. A rotisserie that I got works on the 22 kettles. Um, I know that there is some third party options if you have a 26 or if you have an 18. Man, so good and so easy to set up. And the color, woo, and the juice, and the flavor. Grill Sergeant out.